The D850 is now in its fourth year since launching in 2017. Should you still buy it in 2021? Let's discuss. Well, hi guys, thanks for tuning in. You know, I get a lot of messages on my channel from people asking me what type of camera they should buy. Now, the one dominant question they ask me the most is should I buy a Nikon DSLR or a mirrorless camera? And to be honest, my answer varies. Sometimes I say a DSLR, sometimes I say mirrorless. It all depends on the type of budget they have as well as the type of photography they like to do. After using the Nikon D850 here for the last few years, here are my top five reasons why you should still consider buying it in 2021. The Nikon D850 battery power is, in a word, outstanding. It's no secret it can outlast the Nikon mirrorless counterparts quite substantially. As an example, I recently visited a national park here in Australia and I shot waterfalls, lots and lots of birds at high frame rates, video overlay in both 4K and 1080p, and by the end of the day when I was about to get into the car to come home, the battery warning light was just coming on the D850. So one battery lasted me the entire day. I found the focusing extremely reliable on the D850 when photographing wildlife. I really enjoy the fact I have that optical viewfinder which makes the whole experience of wildlife photography more enjoyable and personable to me. Having shooting mode controls and individual focus settings assigned to multiple buttons at my fingertips instead of continually burrowing into a menu, makes it quicker to get the shots I need. If you think you're missing out with the latest release cameras in terms of image quality, you're not. The D850 was the first Nikon DSLR camera to come out with the highly rated BSI CMOS 45 megapixel sensor. That sensor now resides in the latest Z7 and Z7 II mirrorless cameras. You'll get that same renowned Nikon color science and image quality using the D850. If you buy a D850 this year, you're going to have a larger, more diverse range of F-mount lenses to choose from. Not to mention the huge range from third-party manufacturers like Tamron and Sigma. No matter what type of photography you like to do, there will always be an F-mount lens suitable for you. At the time of making this video, the new release Nikon Z7 II retails here in Australia for five and a half thousand dollars. After a bit of searching on the net, I found different retailers were selling the Nikon D850 brand new from as little as 3,400 to just over 4,300 Australian dollars. That's a saving of between one and two thousand dollars. With that money you save, you can buy two, maybe even three new F-mount lenses. Also worth mentioning is the D850 has the best ergonomics of any camera I've ever held. Plus, it has these illuminated buttons on the back for when you're shooting in low light. As I mentioned previously, I won't be selling my Nikon D850. I'll be keeping it as a backup camera or to work in tandem with my new one. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope these little tips have helped you out in terms of you know, will you buy a D850 in 2021? Never stop creating and I'll see you next time.